So, two, 2019 has been one of the best years that I've actually seen in boxing. I've been following boxing for the past 10 years and um, I've never seen a situation where there's been so many uh, fight of the year candidates for such a such a um, eventful year in boxing. Um, obviously, if you just look at the heavyweight division, Anti Joshua obviously had a massive upset loss against Andrew Ruiz um, around six months ago when he lost all of his uh, heavyweight titles to him. And then obviously in December, he managed to avenge that one loss and uh, managed to regain all of the titles. Obviously, the heavyweight division is normally seen as the most uh, prominent division in boxing. Um, it's one of the most important divisions in boxing. So this year, um, in terms of like actual important fights, there could be fights that could be ranked higher than the uh, fights fights that you actually see on the graphics in this um, video. But in terms of um, fight of the year candidates, you can see on the Ring magazine, um, they've got Gennady Golovkin versus Sergei Devachenko, Inui versus Donaire, uh, Pacquiao versus Furman, Errol Spence versus Sean Porter. And Josh Taylor versus Regas Progress. Mm -hmm. What I would say is um, there's one fight that I think has been overlooked, which is a uh, Sergey Kovalev versus Anthony Yard. Um, obviously, I think that was one of the best fights of the year. When I watched that fight, it was actually awesome. I managed to watch all all of these fights, and um, I could honestly say um, 2019 has been a very eventful year for boxing. So the first fight, Gennady Golovkin versus Sergey Devachenko. Obviously, when you look at the first round, um, it almost looked like it was going to be um, an easy fight for um, a Golovkin. He knocked him down in the first round, and it, it looked like it was just going to be a routine knockout defense for Sergey um, for, for Golovkin against Sergey Devachenko. But Sergey Devachenko managed to come back, and he managed to actually um, um, actually push uh, Golovkin to a very close uh, decision. Obviously, a lot of people thought Devachenko done enough to win the fight, but I think Golovkin just edged it. Obviously, the Inui versus uh, Donair fight, a lot of people thought Donair was actually finished at that point. It's um, it's actually worth noting that, obviously, the Inui, uh, Inui, and, Inui versus Donair fight and uh, Josh Taylor versus Regas Progress fight were both finals for the Super 6 uh, tournament. So um, it actually shows you what a good year it is that both are fine finals um had a uh, fight of the year candidates but obviously the Inui fight versus Donair fight was a very good fight um a lot of people thought uh, Inui is just going to run through Donair because Donair is like 37 years old but somehow Donair managed to actually um uh, managed to give a uh, Inui a, a very close fight and he's actually uh, exposed a few vulnerabilities in Inui um before the fight a lot of people I still have him on the top five pound for pound list, but a lot of people thought that um, Inui was um, unstoppable. But obviously, Donaire managed to actually show that uh, no fighter in the sport is unbeatable. I actually think if Donaire was uh, closer to this prime, I think he could have actually beaten Inui because um, obviously he's nowhere near his prime and he still managed to give Inui such a good fight. I'm not trying to say Inui's a bad fighter, he's not, but I think Donaire in his prime might have been able to stop him because he came close to doing it quite a few times when he fought him. And this um, version of Denaire is nowhere near as good as when he was in his prime. Obviously, you had Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Furman. Now, this was a very good fight. And the fact that Pacquiao is almost uh, 40 years old, he's been in the sport for 25 years, and he still managed to give such a get, take the undefeated record of such a good fighter like Keith Furman. Even though Keith Furman has, has had um, a layoff, he's still very impressive. A very impressive fight. The Errol Spence versus Sean Porter fight, that that's just uh, that that was an amazing fight, <laughs> very good fight. Obviously, um, I think Errol Spence managed to just edge it with that knockdown over Sean Porter. And last but definitely not least, uh, Josh Taylor versus Regas Progress was an amazing fight, and um, a lot of people had uh, Progress winning, but I can I can see, I think that fight was so close it could have been a draw, but obviously someone had to win that fight because it was the final of the Super, um. The World Boxing Super Series, so someone had to win that fight, and obviously Josh Taylor just edged it. So, in my opinion, um, the best fight of this actual um fight of the year has to be Nui versus Donaire. The other fights had um, a lot going for it, and this has been such an eventful, packed year that any of these fights, if they were in any other type of year, for example, these fights happened last year, they could have easily have won fight of the year. But obviously, if all of these fights are ranked them um, in terms of like um how uh, competitive they were. I, I think you have to say Inui versus Donaire was uh, was my favourite fight because both of them were very explosive. Both of them almost had each other out. 
and um, I think Inui just won it by a hair. But the Errol Spence versus Sean Porter fight, I, I think because um, Errol Spence managed to knock down Sean Porter, that was a closer win um, because of that knockdown. Josh Taylor versus Regas Progress was very close. Um, but for some reason, I, I just keep edging towards um, Inui versus Donair. The Sirs, the Golovkin versus Sergei Dovinchenko fight, the reason why I don't put that as uh, the top fight of the year is because um, it seems like Golovkin is slowing down. So, I, I don't know, there's something to be said about two fighters meeting when they're in their prime. So, in a weird way, I might be contradicting myself because Inui versus Donaire, both fighters are not in their prime. Donaire was obviously uh, too old, but he managed to give such a good fight against Inui. So, and obviously, with the key Furman versus Manny Pacquiao fight, Manny Pacquiao's out of his prime. So the two fighters that were in their prime, the four fight, the two fights where four fights were all in their prime, you could say is the Errol Spence versus Sean Porter fight and the Josh Taylor versus Regis Progress fight. So you can, depending on how you look at it, um, you can say the Josh Taylor versus Regis Progress fight is the fight of the year. Because you had two undefeated young fighters that were both uh, world titleists uh, fighting in a unification fight and they're both in their prime. And they both are, are the best fighters in the like light welterweight division meeting and they gave a hell of a fight but for some reason in terms of the quality of the fight when i watched all of these fights uh, back to back their new e versus donair fight is uh, for me the fight of the year in terms of excitement and it could be because i didn't really expect donair to do that well because i thought he's out of his prime and i thought he knew he was just going to run through him so when, when there's a little bit of a shock when you don't expect a certain fighter to do as well as he does and he does well it kind of shocks you more but you could say the same thing about the Errol Spence versus Sean Porter fight. A lot of people thought Errol Spence would run through Sean Porter, but obviously Sean Porter um, gave him a hell of a fight. So, in my opinion, I think, um, I, I don't know why I just keep edging towards it, but the Inui versus Donair fight, um, for me, is my fight of the year. And you, you can literally make a very strong case for the Sergey Kovalev versus um, uh, Anthony Yard fight. Even though Anthony Yard was untested, Sergey Kovalev was um, a little bit old. Um for some reason, I just keep going for Inui versus Donaire. Um, it was a real uh, passing of the torch type of fight. And honest to God, they, they said they could, there might be a rematch for the fight because it was such a good fight. So, yeah, I, I think um, my pick for the Ring Magazine fight of the year is uh, Inui versus Donaire. Tell me what you think below. And obviously, uh, just subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. Peace out.